Welcome to your cause and effect doodle notes lesson. Last week you took notes on the different types of text structures. There's five in total. The first one from last week was compare and contrast. The second one was descriptive. The third one that we're going to focus on today is cause and effect. And this is your third nonfiction text structure. Make sure that you turn this in when you're done so I can grade it. I'll hand it back to you later, but first turn it in. Write your name and please write what I do, you do, go at your own pace. Please have headphones on. Please follow along with me. Now let's get started. So remember, cause and effect shows how events or concepts happen as a result of other events or concepts. A text structure is the way that authors organize their writing. Nonfiction text structure, remember, this has to do with a text that is real. So non means not fiction. So it is real. Now a cause is why something happens. You ask yourself, why did this happen? An effect is what happens. You ask yourself what happened. So a cause is asking why, an effect is asking what happened. And cause and effect shows events or concepts, shows how events or concepts happen as a result of other events or concepts. Please make sure that you have this written down. So now, once you have this written down, we're going to move on to our example. For our example, we have people can disturb the nesting sites of the loggerhead sea turtles. That's our cause. Our effect is sea turtles are now an endangered species. So what happened? So the effect is Sea turtles are endangered species. Why did this happen? Why are they endangered? The why is always the because. So let's put why next to cause and what. What happened next to effect? So because people because people were disturbing the nesting sites of the loggerhead sea turtles, they are now endangered. Now we're going to look at our signal words. So whenever you're reading a nonfiction text, be on the lookout for these signal words, and they'll give you a it gives you a hint in order to determine if this is written in cause and effect form. These words are because. as a result, therefore, if, then, due to, consequently. So if you're reading a nonfiction text and you see these signal words because as a result therefore if then due to consequently then you know that this is written in cause and effect form remember the structure that we're focusing on is cause and effect and this is just the way the author chose to organize his or her writing now an author can format the cause and effect passage in a variety of ways. We can have our cause, then our effect, just one effect. We can have our cause and three effects, three things that happen. Or we can have the effect given first and then the cause. So 
effect. And then our cause, and then the effect, and then three causes. So the effect is what happened? Why did it happen? Don't forget. Now, on the back, let's flip it over. We're going to be writing in a cause and we're going to be writing the effect of that. Remember, please do what I do. We're going to ignore these directions. We're going to use this graphic organizer in a different way. So let's write people litter in rivers, lakes, and oceans So because people are littering in the rivers, lakes, and oceans, what is going to be the effect? What happens because of this? The water is going to be polluted. Please write this down. Let's write our next cause. As water freezes, it expands. Now let's come up with an with the effect. What happens? Surfaces like concrete. eventually will crack and crumble. So because the water is freezing, it's expanding, what's going to happen because of this surfaces like concrete eventually crack and crumble. So the cause, our next one, water is heated and molecules move quickly. Now, what's the effect of that? An effect is what happens. A cause is why something happens. So what's going to happen? Water is going to begin to do what? Water begins to boil. Our next one, our last one, we're going to write, there is less rainfall in an area. So let's say there's less rainfall in an area. What's going to happen because of that? because there's no water in an area, no rainfall, what's going to be the effect? What's going to happen because of this? Water becomes scarcer, meaning there's less of it. Less of it. So please make sure that you have your cause written down in your effect. Now, we're going to go back up here and we're going to label this column cause, it, cause and effect on this side. So please make sure that whenever you're done writing down your cause and effects for each scenario that you turn this in to the turn in bin. Great job. Thank you for following. Make sure that you wrote your name and put this in the trending bin.